about 15 years' time, all the new products that we'll be using will be made of materials that we don't even know today. The world nano uh, materials nano technology market will reach three trillion and will create six million jobs. Plastic renaissance is, is happening following a bit of the dark ages. Our polymers are becoming much more functional and much more much smarter materials. But advanced materials does not mean necessarily complicated. It means simple, reliable, with good performance and affordable. Particular things like silicon anodes, um, also the use of graphene in some of these batteries um, and lithium capacitor, maybe three of the key ones to look at. Nowadays, you never, never can develop a new material without cooperation worldwide. You need the expertise of the different labs in the world. So we are a government uh, R&D centre, we are a non-profit and we, our aim is to help our industrial partners to innovate products to the marketplace. We work with uh, LAMI to develop this new optical coating called LAMI. And also it is long lasting, uh, it is with this resistance to scratch, uh, water, heat, UV and give a long life for the whole uh, lighting fixture. It is a type photocatalytic. 就是當他遇到光裡面的紫外線的時候,他就會將接觸到他的有機物就會分解的。Nanofiber is 1000 times thinner than human hair. The high surface area is going to give the a lot of area for active ingredient to be delivered and absorbed by your skin. So making it a lot more efficient for skin care application for the ladies as well as men. For us that came from Singapore, we saw value in whatever the, the speakers presented and we saw a lot of promise of uh, the future of uh, advanced materials. Like kind of gave me better kind of insight and understanding of the, of the general field of advanced materials. Can you tell me, Professor, can you tell me where you can get the research? We will see that we are doing commercialization. Can you tell me where you can get the research? How can you get the commercialization?